Pisces, welcome to your reading. It's the Rainbow Wizard, of course. Uh, I will be uh, doing uh, your uh, reading for the beginning of August. We are on the end of July, to be exact, it is the 27th of July. Thank you so much for being here, Pisces. Uh, this is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Please like, hit the thumbs up and uh, share the video, leave a comment. I always love hearing from you all, so thank you very much for connecting. Uh, I have closed the personal reading, so uh, I might open them later, but uh, then, yeah, not for now. <laughs> I uh, will be focusing now on my schedule and YouTube, of course. So, let's dive into your reading. We are in Leo season. I hope the season is treating you sweet so far, Pisces. So we will be checking in who's showing up in your love life, what's showing up around you. Anything that I see, I will share with you, Pisces. So cards are flying. They do have a lot to say. And uh, yeah, if I can just get my tongue in check and my shuffling in check as well. <laughs> Let's start this reading, Pisces. It is a beautiful day here in London. It's going to be more tropical weather coming up. So that is fabulous. Pisces, you have someone, King of Cups, this King of Cups, uh, they're dressed in blue, it's a very sweet color, this color of, uh, you know, pure purity. This person is walking slowly, slowly, slowly to you. Mm, they want to hide their feelings on the way. Uh, perhaps they're walking away from something they don't love anymore and there is a new path ahead of them, but there has been battles for them to conquer. This person as well is... Uh, uh, I see someone here that invested in you, but they, they stopped investing, basically. They feel their hands are tied. Now, um, I get the impression here, Pisces, that there is someone, could be two energies around you, and uh, let's dive into one of them first. All right, all right, all right, Pisces. So, yeah, there's definitely two energies around you, for sure. So, uh I'm going to, let's dive into this energy here and see what I can find out. Um, now, with the tower and the star, there is great success coming towards you and it's the one that is in your favor. This is a tower going in your favor. There is a commitment coming towards you as well. You might not feel things are going in your favor at the moment because whilst you are shining and rising to the top here and getting the, the miracles, there could be tower moment affecting others. So usually in a tower moment, someone is affected. So it is also, you know, good, good and bad, but the tower is also for... Um, those that have gone through spiritual awakening, they can handle towers better than others. And every human being will have a tower in their life. It is impossible not to. Uh, you should really hope to have one because without a tower, you will not, um, you will not evolve. Uh, you could be dealing with someone that they put you on a pedestal. This person had a nightmare that they cannot connect with you anymore. I'm picking up. This person could also have children. Maybe there's a baby mother. Maybe there's a mother on their <laughs> on their path that they are seeking guidance from here. I feel like there is a queen of wands that is... I, there could be a tower moment that has gone on in a relationship as well. That's happening behind the scenes. The Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles. This person could be someone that find themselves in a, you know, they want to come towards you. They want to offer you commitment. Um, this is someone that could find themselves in a lot of mayhem. Um, but maybe this person is a little bit younger uh, as well. Um, uh, on that note, I've actually noticed, and maybe, you know, I am... Um, at my age, no, I, I didn't really think about it so much before, but I think the uh, the younger you are, um, I think so at least, like, I think up until, you know, maybe your late 40s, like, you can, your resilience to a lot of craziness can, you know, your, your skin is thicker and more tolerant, uh, if most, most of us look back, if there was uh, anything that you would tolerate back when you wear a certain age, it will, it probably will change. You'll be more sensitive for sure. I mean, of course with age. So I'm picking up, 
that someone is finding themselves in kind of mayhem and when it comes to their love life this is someone that you know is just how they lived for, for the longest time you know arguments dressed and you know they don't have to be there but they're there this is someone that is saying like oh, me, oh poor me I do live under the same roof but this is such a nightmare and this this person complains basically uh, about you know how how unlucky how unfortunate how poor them uh, how, how they are suffering this is someone that's like that so I'm picking up someone could be maybe in their 20s 30s maybe Maybe early 40s uh, to to endure that yeah there is lack of finances uh, this person can have this mentality where it's like they don't really see they don't put the work in uh, at all um and and they 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 take the yeah you're dealing with someone that met you you have changed their life but at the same time they don't know how to keep you. They didn't know how to keep you. So this person is someone that if they have a child, they've said, okay, I need to stay close to the mother of my child. Uh, and I'm also picking up again up someone that is younger with a certain mindset. And, and that's not uncommon. So I just see someone here that will have the mindset of it's, it's that, okay, if, if I have a child, I gotta have to stay next door. I do suffer, but I that's how it is. Whereas someone that's mature, obviously with their own wealth and m mind of their own, uh, would probably look at a diff more unconventional approach, let's say. It looks like this person could have looked at an unconventional uh, approach if they have this mindset, but they, they did not. Or So I see them going through like nightmare after nightmare, stressful, more and more stressful because they find themselves in this really painful cycle and like they can't see any way out uh, but pain. I see a lot of pain around this person um, and, and like they really are tired as well. It's, of course, finding yourself in a nightmare is tiring. So that type of energy. Now, their intentions is happiness with you. Their intentions is not to juggle. Their intention is, is to, again, find out if they can continue to invest to the Ten of Pentacles. So you could find yourself, uh, you know, shocked, basically, uh, Pisces. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing here you could find yourself really shocked like you know you are going to be presented in the near future prices with a with a star with universal gifts a range of universal gifts and you're like they could have been coming on the loop in the recent time uh, and and uh, you're like oh things are picking up i'm picking up synchronicities i'm picking up okay this is good this is good right okay but when it comes to love you are sort of okay let's let's uh, let's sit them this one out let's just take things a little bit slower now but then there is this invitation that is coming to you and it's like you're like amazed. I see your jaw dropping. Uh, it's like <laughs> you, you find yourself in a kind of a shock, um, yeah, cho a shock jaw open kind of uh, where people might have to snap their fingers and like Pisces, Pisces, hello, Earth is calling, Earth is calling, Earth is calling, Pisces. <laughs> you could find yourself with these messages and it's like, you, uh, uh, it's kind of jaw wide open, you know, it's like stunned. You feel amazed you feel what what is going on <laughs> so therefore that's why you hang hang man you are just like why and, and you're not sure if you like it or if you hate it you just don't know it's just shocking to you like really shocking so can i have some messages for the star and the tower for pisces yeah you have closed the cycle in a, like, you did actually go the distance with the nine of wands. You have done everything you could in a situation. So if there is a decision that you make, work situation, living situation, it's going to be made. Uh, I see that the ten of swords, you have a nine of wands showing up here. Uh, let's see with it. All right. Why is the tower here for Pisces? So, all right. There will be a bittersweet victory for you, Pisces. There is a bittersweet victory. This is the victory where you will watch other people in despair and a nightmare. You will see the agony. It's like you're collecting a price, Pisces. And then, but you know that those that are looking at you collecting the price, it's almost like they are looking at it as their life's over. They are like, it's like the Hunger Games. You, you, oh, there's one more as well that won the prize. There's only one person that won the prize. 
surprise the others. They have to live for the rest of the, or the year in misery or they have to live in a district far away, but that's how they view it, right? That's their tower. Your tower is that you are the winner of a situation in, uh, and you are receiving a range of gifts, Pisces, receiving this range of gifts from the universe. You're also receiving this. Uh, it's like someone is showing you love. They are showing you okay, showing you they're single, they're being like, hey, Pisces, uh, I'm here, do you want to go out? Or And you're like, like Pisces, Pisces, Earth is calling. <laughs> it's that message. It's that <laughs> But you are getting the high priestess through your subconscious and you're like, that, is that this a dream or am I here? Or And you don't even know yet if you want to be in the dream or not, but you find yourself in the dream that you thought you wanted for a long time, but there is a lot of upheaval and stress around it. The Ten of Swords, there is you then saying, now I'm starting to take the, the, the pins and needles out of my body, but I am still down. So for those of you that are coming out of a period where it's like a tower have floored you, whatever, you know, whatever it is to you, the tower is a, a big change in your life. So something that took you out of your routine. It's just, it's, it can be anything. I always say when I moved, uh, re did relocate to this place after nine years, like it impacted me so much that it's like I can't, it's not even going to go into it, but you wouldn't think that how can it even have any negative impact? It, it did. It kind of, I didn't really realize how much it would change my life in a way. It, but only I, I know why, but that has usually to do with your, usually a tower has to do with when you are not admitting certain things about yourself that you know will impact you. It's the kind of thing where you are saying like, oh, I wouldn't get heartbroken. Why oh, adapt to change very easily when you, it's the complete opposite. So it is whatever you sometimes have told yourself that you don't care if it goes or comes and you'll be like, I'll be exactly the same with or without. And that will be a lie to yourself. So but the thing is, most people, we do lie to ourselves because we don't know. Isn't it easy to be like, oh, you know, when I was heartbroken back in the 90s, yeah, that, you know, pff, I got over it. But if you brought yourself back to that heartbreak and how you felt, oh, you would not say that, would you? So it is very much about you. Um, it's like, oh, right. All right. You are feeling an upheaval in your emotions. It's big. You think it is good. But then you're not sure because you are like, oh, it's like with great love, comes, you know, great responsibility or what, whatever they say, you know, mm. whatever the saying is, I think you know what I mean. And that's what's going to floor you. It's like people will be applauding and like, Pisces, Pisces, you won. Like, it's like, and you're like, huh? <laughs> you're, you're like, ah, it's, <laughs> it's a kind of, a, it's like a hollow feeling. You are like, ah, you are, you are sort of, I don't know if I want this win or why is people celebrating around me? You could feel really numb. Uh, is that like, it's something great that is shifting in your life. It has to do with abundance. It has to do with love. It's shifting, it's shifting fast. But then you're like, well, it's, it was kind of, I was used to kind of hiding my feelings. I was used to kind of hiding behind a screen and now it's right in front of me. Ooh, so it is good and it's bad at the same time. It's really overwhelming for you, Pisces. I can definitely pick that one up. Nine of cups, see? It's your wish fulfillment, your purpose, what you manifested. Someone is here to give it to you. It's a breakthrough. Again, you won. It's yours. It's faded. Luck is here. You, it, it is yours. No one is going to take it away from you, uh, Pisces. This person is like, uh, is, is there. They're, they're outside. They're, they are there and they're like, hey, should we go now? It's like you are on the way to the altar and you just don't find yourself why you are there in the first place because there, there are pains that you have. There's so much pain that you have gone through to get there that you feel numb when the person you want, always decide and want is standing in front of you and you're really, 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 really shocked. So you find yourself extremely shocked. There are two people I feel around you as well, possibly. Uh, but, but but it's not like, this is not like a choice in a way. It's just 
happening is like moving this way. It's like you're on a motorway and it's going 100 miles an hour and you are on the motorway. You can't go the other way. It's impossible. There's no motorway left because the tower have destroyed everything behind you. But you want to be be there. You want to be there. There's concern, main male. Um, there is mature woman. You could be seen. There's main female. There could be two females in the picture here. There's one female with a child. There is one with it in despair. There is a message that will floor you from a mature man, mature woman. Uh, take this as you see fit. Pisces courtship. So there is a shift in someone's relationship. This person will be out of their relationship. This person will be standing in front of you. This person is uh, wealthy. This person is... Uh, they believe that you and them have connected already. So for them, you might have said... You might have said yes in your dreams, Pisces. You have said yes, though. Your subconscious have said yes to this one. This is not... You are not going to be kidnapped. I'm getting wealthy, man. You are not going to be kidnapped, so don't worry. I have your number, Pisces. I'll call you back in. And you will not be kidnapped, but you will be, be taken away somewhere. And, and this is big. It's new. You're going to be on that, that full blast, full steam ahead. And, and there is like, the truth is coming out. Somebody's speaking. Okay, we're in a relationship now, Pisces. It's, but it's happening so fast. Solitude, you might be coming out of solitude as well, but see here, the answers you are seeking, Pisces, aren't in the outer world on this one. It's not. Uh, you are stepping back and withdrawing from the outside commotion here. It's reminding you to pause, <clears throat> still your mind like the hanged man, meditate, reflect, reevaluate, and discover the wisdom and answers within the very soul of your being. When you become more aware of your soul and heart, you're strengthening the link to the divine source and you're able to once again remember your true perfection. So it's like you're meeting your soul halfway, scheduling some alone time to communicate with your soul and to give the power of spirits an opportunity to kind of um, give the soul or soul like life force and vitality. The hermit is the, the card here and it's necessary because here Pisces, it is positive movement forward. It's basically prosperity, abundance. It's your efforts that have gotten you here, Pisces. Good for you. So it's, um, you have built something on your passion. You can truly express yourself at this time. You, you will rise and you are going to have moments where you will share it with others as well. This is a victory that is yours. This is gifts that are given to you. This is yours for the taking. But you will <laughs> be in numb and in shock whilst it's going on. So take some <clears throat> alone time right now because you're going to need it, Pisces. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and have a wonderful weekend.